Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 12th Annual Chagrin Documentary Film Festival. I'm Richard Alt, Chief Investment Officer of Carnegie Investment Council, sponsor of this evening's award show. Please join me in welcoming our mistress and master of ceremony, former Fox 8 News anchor and founder and principal of Vic Communications, Lori Vic, and Rick Jackson, the host of the Sound of Ideas on WCPN, Ideastream, and a former CBS News anchor. Take it away. Welcome to the 12th Annual Chagrin Documentary Film Festival Awards. It's great to be back again, isn't it? We're going to celebrate this year another amazing festival. This spring, as we emerged from a pandemic, not only were we more appreciative of the people around us, our health, and how we spend our time, we've become even more focused on the world around us. Current issues like the environment, space travel, and overcoming individual and social challenges dominate this year's festival. This year's films reflect what's going on in our country and the world. The award-winning films we honor today were born out of the passion of a filmmaker perhaps one, two, even three years ago. And we realize that the best documentaries are usually those in which the filmmaker starts out headed in one direction, but discovers along the way, with us, that there is so much more than meets the surface of the topic. It's been our honor to bring this festival to the community of Chagrin Falls, live at our venues and in the park and virtually through streaming at WatchChagrinFest.org. Well, thanks, Rick. You know, it really is great to be back co-hosting with you again. Good to see in you. In person, I right? Know. <laughs> now, we're, we're less than six feet. Less than six feet. And last year, you promised to bring your dancing shoes along in the event that we could actually dance. So, I see you've got them on. I kind of have mine. Let's go for it. Let's go for Woo! it. There's our spin. That's what you get. That's as good as we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it for us. That's right. Well, as you said, Rick, we're hopefully emerging from the pandemic. And if this challenging year has done one thing, perhaps it has encouraged us all to really appreciate each other and to do a little better for our family, for our friends, and for our community. And that is so appropriate for this festival because the model of turning a tragedy into triumph is our very own Marianne and Ed Ponce. Marianne and Ed, after you lost your dear son David to cancer, you captured his spirit and created this film festival in his memory. David, as we all know, was a promising young filmmaker, and now his legacy has impacted the lives and the careers of the filmmakers and crews of over 1,000 films from 65 countries, and indeed has left lasting impressions on the 120,000 attendees in person and 37,000 who were streaming last year. This year's theme is Everyone Has a Story. We've grown from the image of David behind his camera lens in the very first documentary of this festival to each and every gem of a film, all telling diverse stories from around the world. Each filmmaker's story is woven into a documentary that creates the tapestry that is this unique festival. And for that, we are so very grateful to you. Thank you so much, Lori. In this year, our 12th, we live in a world where we face so many challenges, whether they be environmental, social, political, and what better way to bring people together to discuss these challenges than this film festival and especially the amazing documentary films we bring to our community. I want to especially thank every single volunteer, sponsor, member, who have made this festival a reality. This year we've received very generous funding from the National Endowment for the Arts, Cuyahoga Arts and Culture, the Ohio Arts Council, Ohio Humanities, and so many more. We are sincerely grateful. Thank you. And of course, none of this is possible without the brilliant and talented filmmakers. We've gotten to meet several live at CDFF Live on Main after their in-person film showing and pre-recorded interviews. We are here tonight to celebrate you. Over 600 films submitted from 51 countries and over 80 films selected. You are the cream of the crop. Now we're awarding nine categories, but each of you really is a winner and we celebrate you. 
Again this year, we are so thrilled to announce that thanks to a very generous anonymous sponsor, we are awarding over $10,000 in prize money to our winning filmmakers. For the second year in a row, two lucky filmmakers will learn that their films will get distributed by Gravitas Ventures. Homegrown talent is honored in our first category, Best Local Documentary. We want to thank our sponsors for their generous support, especially Chagrin Valley Chamber of Commerce, Carnegie Investment Council, South Franklin Circle, and Susan Metallo of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. We have so many wonderful sponsors, so please take a moment to read our ending credits. And who better than one of these terrific sponsors, the Chagrin Valley Chamber of Commerce, to announce the winner of the Best Local Film. To help us present this award, Lori Klopper, CV CC board member and owner of Blush Boutique. Lori is joining us now from over at Triangle Park. Hi there, Lori. I've got Lori squared. Uh, you do all around you. <laughs> Hi, Lori and Rick. I'm excited to be here representing the chamber. Lori, we hear there is just so much going on at the chamber this year. For starters, we just love that you have sponsored the Films in the Park for a second year. Thank you for that. Yes, the chamber is honored to be a sponsor of the Film Fest for another year. With so much local talent right in our very backyard, it is our honor to present the award for the best local documentary. So without further ado, the award for the best local documentary and the recipient of the $500 cash prize goes to... Training for Freedom, directed by Kathy Conkright, produced by Ringo Jones. These are college students from every corner of the nation. They volunteered for active service to help the black people of Mississippi learn their rights and get their names on a voter's list. On a quiet campus in Ohio, the volunteers train for their freedom summer. Very few of the volunteers had ever been to the South. They didn't know very much of its history. They didn't know the history of the civil rights movement other than what they had seen on television. Freedom Summer tells us that the divides in American life uh, in terms of race and class and even gender are false, uh, or that they can at least be broken down very quickly, not easily, but quickly, when people walk across the divide and reach out and try to understand. And I can't think of a better message for America at any time, but especially now. Hello, Chagrin Documentary Film Festival, and thank you so much for this award. I'm Ringo Jones, producer and sound designer for Training for Freedom, and on behalf of the entire crew of Training for Freedom, we want to thank you, the staff, and the volunteers that make Chagrin Documentary Film Festival possible. I'd also like to give a big shout out to executive producer Jackie Johnson, who had the inspiration for the doc, executive producer Richard Campbell, director Kathy Conkright, producer Mary Mackley, editor David Scholey, cinematographer Danell Phipps, and everyone else on the crew. Thanks to the Ohio Humanities Council, Oxford Community Foundation and Miami University for their generous financial support. I'd also like to thank Miami University and the University of Arkansas for their continued support of this project, letting Jackie and I follow it for the last seven years and finally sharing it with audiences around the globe. However, this story wouldn't be possible without the brave men and women that came together in Oxford, Ohio, the summer of 1964. I want to thank all of the Freedom Summer participants for telling their story on camera, but more importantly, for their actions over 50 years ago. We hope their story resonates with a new generation of activists and advocates. Winning Best Local Documentary is a true honor. We believe in grassroots movements and that starts by working locally. So attend your local film festival, consume local film, music, art, and support your local businesses. Thank you for watching and showing up for your local community. I always end by reminding people that word of mouth is the best type of promotion. So tell your friends about our film, tell them about the festival, and if you'd like to share it with your community, just reach out to us and we'll make that happen. We believe we can inspire that next generation of activists, but the first step is showing them what's possible when people band together to make change. Thank you. Our next category is Best Short Documentary. And I love this category. This year, the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival is offering more than 40 short films. These films were selected from over 320 submitted shorts. 
This year's short films ranged in subject matter from racial justice, small businesses responding to the pandemic, and individuals facing obstacles. I can only imagine the difficulty the judging committee had selecting the winner of this category. Now here's something new. This past May, the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival held Everyone's a Critic, private VIP parties, where the guests got to select one lucky short documentary that's being included in the 2021 festival lineup. It looks like they had a lot of fun and what a great way to engage the community. Now, to introduce the winner of this year's Best Short and the winner of a $1,000 cash prize, Howard Mandel of Pepper Tree Capital. Thank you, Rick. Pepper Tree Capital's been a proud sponsor of the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival for many years. It's my distinct honor to announce the winner of the Best Short Documentary Film and a $1,000 prize. The winner is... Charlie Surfer, directed by Pia Strame. This was the bench that my mummy told me about my Asperger syndrome. And I was like, what's Asperger's? Because at first, I real it sounded a lot like Alzheimer's. The syndrome makes you think like differently to others. I have very sensitive hearing and I don't like certain sounds, tastes, smells. It's kind of difficult having it, but all I know is that I'm having a good life and I'm I just know that I have been diagnosed with it. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Pia Strömme and uh, I'm the director of uh, Charlie Surfer. Thank you so much for the award and uh, thanks to Chagrin Film Festival. We're so happy that Charlie's story is being shared in other parts of the world. Um, we obviously think that Charlie is amazing and we think it's important for other children to see that um, it's okay to feel a little different. There's been so many people who's helped out on this project um, and uh, this wouldn't have been possible without all your help. Uh, a special thanks to Phenomen and to producer Knut Inge Solbu. Thanks to Halvor Nitteberg um, for all your great support. Uh, thanks to photographer Christian Milstein. And last but not least, a very special thanks to the amazing Charlie and the rest of his family, Damien, Denise, Leila and Robin. This wouldn't have been possible without you, so thank you so much for your trust. When we started this project uh, three years ago, I had no idea that the film would get this far. Um, who would have thought would win a prize in Ohio? This means so much to us, so thanks again. We value all of our generous supporters and especially our Igniter, Legacy and Visionary members who challenge all of us to continue this tradition of a world-class film festival right here in the village of Chagrin Falls. We salute you and all of our members of the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival. Without your support, this award presentation, our online festival and in-person venues would not be possible. This year, to show our appreciation to our VIP members, they were treated to special programming and parties at our new CDFF on Main live studio and lounge, sponsored by Susan Metallo of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. The live studio and lounge featured interesting panel discussions, opportunities to meet the filmmakers, and special events. Our next award category is U.S. Documentaries. U.S. documentaries are full-length feature films that are directed and produced in the United States, some of which are filmed across the world. This year's crop of U.S. films features such topics as show choirs, baseball, health, and the environment. To present the best U.S. documentary, may I introduce you to the Chagrin Falls Mayor, Mayor Bill Tomko. Hey, Mayor, great to see you. How you doing? I'm doing fine, Rick. Every year, the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival impacts our local economy with an estimated $1 million of additional revenue making it the lo largest local event. We absolutely love hosting the festival. This five-day celebration of the art of the documentary film, not only do, we do people attend this festival in person, they watch it in over 28 states around the country, putting our town, Chagrin Falls, on the national map. I am pleased to present the award for the best U.S. documentary 
and the winner of this year's Best U.S. Documentary of Film Award in $1,000 is... Home from School, The Children of Carlisle, directed by Jeff O'Gara. They tried everything to get rid of us. They resorted to taking our children. I want everybody to know what happened to our children in those boarding schools. The barriers have been here too long. It's time for them to go home. Hello, I'm Jeff O'Gara. I'm the producer and director of Home From School, The Children of Carlisle. And we here at uh, Caldera Productions are just so happy to be part of the Chagrin Film Festival. Uh, I've got with me my co-producer, Sophie Barksdale, and our associate producer, Jordan Dresser. And we don't have much time, so I'm gonna pass it to them to make a few comments. Hello, my name is Jordan Dresser. I'm very excited to be a part of this film, not only as a member of the, the production team, but also as a tribal member. It was very important for the Northern Apple tribe to bring back our children. And it was very important to tell the story, not only for our own personal healing, but also to share it with the world and also open up doors about not only the story of repatriation, but also tribes telling their own stories in a very good way. So not only has this had a very big impact on our tribe, but we hope it has a larger impact on the communities around the world who share not only the same struggle, but also can identify with the story. So thank you for that. We would like to dedicate this award to three of our elders who were part of the film and who have sadly since passed away. They are Betty Friday, Crawford White, and Mark Soldier Wolf. Thank you so much again for this honor. Thank you. Best student documentaries are films by K through 12 students and college students. This year, 218 college students graduated with a bachelor's in film from 18 colleges in Ohio. That means there are roughly over 1,000 college students taking film classes at any given time. Well, as a happy result, we had more student films this year than any other previous year of the festival. We now go to Susan Metallo of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, who is here to award this year's Best Student Documentary. Susan, thanks for joining joining us. Thank you, Lori. I'm so excited about giving out this award for the second year in a row. Susan, with so many entries this year in this category, I'm sure the judging committee had a pretty difficult time. What I'm so amazed at isn't just the quantity, but the quality of the student films received this year. These students are really advancing in filmmaking today. And the winner of the Best Student Documentary Award and a $500 cash prize is... Life Again, directed by Anna Maite Kaplan and Orion Huang. I came from a broken family where I had a lot of suicides, a lot of stuff that went on that was very difficult to deal with. And that started a prison experience that lasted 23 years through what they have is called the hobby program where you can actually create artwork and sell it, which is the only business you can conduct while you're incarcerated. My art actually helped me to get out of prison. All the things that you told me about trusting God in the midst of not knowing it's all true. And I just don't want you to ever forget that, man. Don't forget. Now that you're out here and every, like it's different. Now you have the real distraction. Hi, my name is Ryan Huang. And my name is Anna Maite Kaplan, and we both directed Life Again. Um, we're both so honored to receive this award, and we really couldn't have done it without the support of our professors and classmates at Chapman University. Making this film in the middle of the pandemic was really rough and complicated because we could only communicate with each other through Zoom. So finding Wes in the first place was really difficult, but we collaborated, we collaborated really well, and we were all extremely determined to make a film that could make a lasting impact. And when we first met Wes Burleson, he really taught us a lot about what he was going through and a lot about the prison system and what issues may be facing it today. And, you know, spending six months with him, we really um, walked in his shoes and really 
um, saw what it was like to reintegrate back into normal society after being, you know, uh, imprisoned for almost 23 years. And, um, you know, as we were doing this film, we really uh, knew that we needed to uh, get his story out there for everybody to hear. And um, we really couldn't have done it without him too. And our main, our main goal or our main hopes were for our audience to take away new perspectives on the relationship between formerly incarcerated people and society in general, because there are a lot of stigmas around that topic. And I know I learned a lot making this film and Orion did, and we're so grateful for everything that we've learned along the way. Now, Lori, back to you and our next category, Best International Documentary. Thanks, Rick. This year, we had films submitted from 51 countries around the world, and our Film Fest world lost an incredible man this past June. John Hellman was part of the initial committee that brought the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival to life. He will always be regarded as one of the founding members. He lived life to the fullest and traveled extensively around the world. And that's why it's an honor and a privilege to have someone from the Hellman family present this award that will now and forever be known as the John Hellman Best International Documentary. Thank you, Laurie. It's an honor to be representing the Hellman family here at this event. Uh, it's quite well known that John was a world traveler because he was very curious about places and, and food and people and uh, his interest in people was very evident when you went out with him to a restaurant or were in line with him someplace because he would engage everybody around him in conversation. And within a few minutes he would know where people were born, where they went to school, where they were heading. And this intense curiosity about people I think is the reason he liked the film festival so much because uh, truly the the Sugar Documentary Film Festival does bring the world to Northeast Ohio. And it is my privilege to give the first award, known as the John Hellman Best International Documentary Award, plus $1,000, to The Price of Cheap, directed by Barry Stevens. They employ more than 100,000 girls and young women. The girls work 12 hours a day and sleep in crowded hostels inside the mills. There are some egregious practices, but they're not the only problems. People who work on the line are women, the supervisors are men. Human should uh, right to live as a dignified life. This is not a dignified life. This is a slave life. Thank you to the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival for this award. We made this film because we wanted to raise awareness of the problem of modern slavery in our world and also encourage people to do something about it uh, once they became aware of the problem. Um, there were so many people that were instrumental in the making of this uh, film and there are too many of them to name and, and I will have a chance to speak with them individually to thank them for their effort and their commitment uh, because it took us uh, almost seven years to complete the, the film. Um, that being said, thank you again to the uh, jury panel of the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival and the audience members that had a chance to watch the film. Um, I encourage you to learn more about the issue of modern slavery and the supply chain of our everyday products, uh, including the fashion industry, and to become consumers who think about the choices that they make when they go to the store and purchase a, a product. There are real people behind those products, and we need to ensure that the economy works for them as well, and that they're not exploited so that we can have cheap products. Thank you again. The Human Spirit Award features films that overcome adversity and showcase triumph over loss. This year's film contenders for the Human Spirit Award feature struggles of health 
baseball's farm leagues, and humanitarian workers. Let's go out to some of our own local heroes. Hey guys, great to see you all. Hey Rick, on behalf of the Chagrin Valley Fire Department, we are honored to be able to present this award this year. Jim Finley was normally gonna do it, but we're standing in for him because he couldn't make it. Now we're going over to Tom at Chagrin Township Hall. Tom is a Chagrin Falls trustee. Take it away, Tom. Thanks guys. When I was first honored to help present the Human Spirit Award, I went to Google to get at the definition of human spirit. And the more I looked through Google, and all of a sudden it hit me that the perfect example is Marianne and Ed's son, David. It was David who wanted to uh, capture the human spirit through film, and it took him to uh, South Africa to film the plight of the uh, people of Rudisport. So as we all know, now Marianne and Ed celebrate David's life through the Documentary Film Festival. Now, what does it mean to me? Well, a human spirit to me means not looking at the unfortunate things that happen in life, but look at the brighter side of life. Look at things like enjoying family and friends, or enjoying a good laugh, or making people laugh. And uh, in doing so, you look at the simpler things in life. Like, how about a documentary film? Well, anyhow, uh, I would now like to make the presentation for the Human Spirit Award, and the winner of $1,000 is... Medicine Man, The Stan Brock Story, directed by Paul Michael Angel. Stan spent the first part of his life only working with animals, and he didn't seem to care very much for the human race. And there's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want to. A lot of times people are mean and callous. I want to personally say thank you. Como seres humanos? For seeing us as human beings. You know, no matter what they do, they deserve to be pain free. I don't get into the political issues of, uh, of either party. I know people on both sides of the aisle, so to speak that there's 50 million people out there that are not getting the care that they need, they simply can't afford it, and we need to do something about it. Hi, I'm Paul, the director of Medicine Man Stan Brock's Dury. Sadly, we can't make it to Chagrin, Ohio because of COVID restrictions, but here I am in London. Um, the whole team, really appreciates this award from Chagrin Documentary Film Festival because we know you're a specialist um, documentary film festival and you really know your onions so we, we hold this in pretty high esteem. Um, so I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the team, executive producer Well Cabani, producer Vladimir Daniel, producer Victor Bueller, co-producer Douglas Blush, Editor, uh, associate producer Alex Zidane, editors uh, Tim Beeston and Katie Breyer, and composer Daniel Gad. To my mind, the power of this film doesn't really lie in the way that we've put it together um, in the editing, directing, or the shooting. Um, it's in the idea that you know there's something very beautiful about a man learning to care. Uh, that's a story that Stan just gave us on a plate and really all we had to do as filmmakers was put it in the correct frame. So hopefully, you know, that, that resonates with you. Finally, I'd like to thank the audience for watching the film. We always wanted to kind of remind American people um, what they can achieve when they come together as a community and help their fellow citizens. So, you know, that's the very thing that captivated Stan about the United States in the first place. The ability for people to come together and work towards a common goal. So I wouldn't want people to kind of forget that in, in times of relative um, division. Please visit ramusa.org, of course, because that's where you can volunteer and get involved with the remote area medical cause and what Stan was all about. Thanks again and take care in Chagran, uh, Ohio. The Rotary Service Above Self Award puts others first. Here's Lori to introduce the presenter. 
Our festival is all about the exchange of ideas and making an impact locally and beyond. Here to present the Rotary Service Above Self Award, we are happy to welcome Richard Leskovec, President of the Rotary of the Chagrin Valley. Richard, welcome to the award show. Thank you very much and congratulations on the successful 12th Annual Chagrin Documentary Film Festival. Um, we would also like to give a special thanks to Marianne Bond for her dedicated work. And we are very proud to have her as a member of the Chagrin Valley Rotary. And watching the films over the years, we find many of the stories reflect the giving of people that exemplify a service above self. So we set up this award. Our member judges have that who relentless power of the film and narrow it down and finally come up with the winner of the award and the thousand dollars. So this year's Warner has a service above self award and a thousand dollar grant is Open Hearts, directed by Travis Pollard and Jacob Costelli. Our job is to go down there and surgically repair those hearts. You all know what that represents for Haitian children. This simply doesn't exist in our country. Alright, so what's the aftercare requirements for this child? The situation is not perfect. So, we could, could face complications, but he's gonna die. I mean, if we don't do anything, he's gonna die, so... I need this discussion, we need this, this, this discussion, because we are doctors, and the question is to do something or not. The operating room was not a usable room when we really began. There's nothing like losing power doing an open-heart surgery to really get your blood flowing. Different pieces of equipment and attachments have become misplaced. We had so much stuff and we can't find half the stuff that we sent. Things are going to start getting a little more complex today. Mike, I still might need you though. Mike, I might need you still. Hi, I'm Travis Pollard. And I'm Jacob Costelli. And we're the directors of Open Hearts. We are so proud of this film and of the attention and the reception that it's getting. Um, it's a story we felt was really, really, really worth telling and uh, people are enjoying engaging with it. Um, really honored to be a part of the Sugar and Documentary Film Festival and uh, can't thank you enough for this honor. Thank you. Yeah, we are so glad to be here at the Chagrin Falls Documentary Film Festival. Uh, Marianne, you and the Chagrin Falls Documentary Film Festival has supported me and us um, through our entire journey as filmmakers, as documentary filmmakers. Um, this film would not exist without you. I met Ken Fogel uh, after we screened a short film, uh, that after you screened one of our short films, and that conversation is what led to Open Hearts. Um, I am so thrilled to be here and to celebrate with everybody and to see all of the amazing films and uh, we're just really um, um, so happy to be able to share this story with everybody because the story reflected us so deeply um, and it's a story that um, the work that you do, Ken and Dr. Kempf and um, the entire team at Akron's Children's and um, let alone all of the collaborators from around the world, it, it's amazing and I'm so glad that we got to see it and experience it and I'm really, really glad that we were able to tell the story in a way that we could share. So um, thank you again, Sugar and Falls Documentary Film Film Festival, this amazing award. Thank you. Panel discussions with our filmmakers and local and national experts who focus on key issues of our times are always popular at our festival. This year, we had many pre-recorded and live panel discussions. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from these panel discussions. We hope that they engage you, and remember, you can watch them on CDFF On Demand. Thank you so much for joining us, Carol. Thank you for having me. 
Welcome to the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival panel with Lisa Mulma and Jeff Bemis, co-directors, producers, and cinematographers behind Missing in Brooks County. My name is Evan Miscagney. I am one of the co-directors and producers of Building a Bridge. And I'm Father Jim Martin. I'm a Jesuit priest. I'm an editor-at-large at America Media. Today I'm joined by Lucy Harvey and Danielle Kummer, the director behind Alien on Stage. Audrey Leach, director, producer, and editor of our closing documentary and Audrey's debut feature film, Full Out Inside Ohio Show Choir. My name is Karen Coates and I'm, I guess I'm a filmmaker now, but <laughs> my background is in journalism. And I'm Jerry Redfern and work with Karen on pretty much everything. We do an awful lot together. With Chris Zalewski, fresco artist Christopher Holt, and Pastor Brian Combe of Hayward Street Ministry, where we will discuss the motivation, making of, and impact of theirs is the kingdom. Usually in those situations, they just kill the cats because nobody is trained to handle that. The fact that Texas is so big and we had these long drives, um, you know, Lisa and I would talk about what we were shooting, and I think it also gave us a chance to process some of the really tough days. The people were very supportive, and the people were very um, opposed to it. I thought, well, I think this conversation needs to happen. It all started by some friends of ours seeing a poster um, in a supermarket in a really tiny town that said, Alien, Amateur Production. And they just thought, oh my God, this sounds amazing. They were like a really fun group. Like you could just feel their like happy energy. Like they were just happy to be there, but they were also very fun to watch. I literally get looked through as if I'm a non-human being on the daily. And, and that that very much formed my, my understanding of, of what a day in the life is like. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. Let us know what you think. We hope you enjoy it if you watch it. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen and Jerry. Thank, Thank you. you. This is great. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much, and thank you for hosting this at your film festival. It means a lot. Our next category is, in a way, our promise for tomorrow. The Emerging Filmmaker category celebrates the creativity of newer filmmakers breaking into the film industry. Like a lot of you, I'm so happy that this year I was able to roam around town, bump into filmmakers. I've had some great conversations too. I especially love talking to the new and emerging filmmakers. Our next presenter is Richard from Carnegie Investment Council. He's back to help us with this award. Hey Richard, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Rick. The award honors those efforts of new and emerging filmmakers whose tenacity, creativity, and vision inspire all of us. I am pleased to announce the Emerging Filmmakers Award and the winner of the $1,500 cash prize. And the winner is... The Neurosurgeon, directed by Magdalena Zagala. Taka dzisiaj jest możliwość, żeby nawet mózg nie wiedział, że jest operowany. Nawet nie wie pan, jak ja się cieszę z tego, co mi pan mówi. To jest kosmos. Mózg zaczyna dostawać tego, czego nie ma. Już mam tylko. Dzień dobry, bardzo dziękuję za tę nagrodę. Już sama kwalifikacja do dwóch kategorii to niesłychane wyróżnienie dla tego filmu. Bardzo chciałabym podziękować jury i chciałabym podziękować profesorowi Mirosławowi Ząbkowi, wspaniałemu neurochirurgowi z Warszawy, ze Szpitala Brudnowskiego, a także profesorowi Krzysztofowi Bankiewiczowi i lekarzom z jego zespołu z Ohio, których za Państwa pośrednictwem bardzo chciałabym pozdrowić. Dziękuję wszystkim moim bohaterom, którzy mi zaufali. Mam nadzieję, że tego zaufania nie nadużyłam w tym trudnym dla nich momencie, kiedy mierzyli się z chorobą. Chciałabym też podziękować chłopakom z mojej ekipy, Darkowi Szymurze, który robił zdjęcia i Hubertowi Betlejowi, który robił dźwięk. Zrobiliśmy ten film we trójkę. Spędziliśmy długie godziny na oddziale neurochirurgii, a także na salach operacyjnych. Chciałabym też podziękować bardzo tatkowi Talarowi, z którym ten film montowałam. Bardzo się cieszę, że nasza praca podoba się Państwu i że została doceniona na międzynarodowych festiwalach. To dla mnie naprawdę 
niesamowite wyróżnienie. Bardzo jeszcze raz dziękuję za tę nagrodę. Pozdrawiam z Polski. I'll let you in on a little secret. Not only does our emerging filmmaker win this award and $1,500 cash prize, they will be getting a distribution contract with Gravitas Ventures. Congratulations on what is an awesome opportunity. The drama's been building all night, Lori. Now it is time for the David Ponce Best of the Festival Award. This award is for a $3,000 cash prize and our festival overall winner. Now, last year, I put you on the spot. I apologize. I asked if you had favorite films. Should I do it again? Well, if you insist. It's tough, though, because there's so many films that it's hard to pick a favorite. But if I do have to pick a favorite category, I'd say it would be the adventure films because they really allow me to go somewhere and see places that I might never do because I don't have the courage to do it or just not able to. What about you? Last year, nobody was able, nobody to, go was able anywhere. to go anywhere. So, so those are especially meaningful. Again, I like the education stories. I like to walk out of a place learning something I didn't know before and then I share it with somebody as if I knew all along. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that is really what this festival is all about. It's what started the festival. It is own words, David Ponce devoted himself to propagating the idea of hope and joy. And true to his vow, when we see these films, our hearts are filled with hope and we celebrate so much joy. We are honored to introduce Ed and Marianne Ponce, the family of David Ponce. We are so excited that we were able to have this festival both in person and virtually on CDFF Docs On Demand this year. On behalf of the entire festival team and our Fever Dreams Board of Directors, I want to thank everyone who participated with us, whether in person or virtually. We also are so appreciative of our amazing documentary filmmakers who, whether they came to the festival or participated virtually, are a part of bringing the world to Chagrin Falls. Thank you. Before we present the Best of the Fest Award, I would like to first take a moment to recognize and congratulate all the filmmakers. On behalf of all of us here at the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival, we recognize and appreciate the perseverance and dedication you have shown through what has proven to be a uniquely challenging time. The past year and a half has been difficult in many ways, and each of you have persisted through numerous adversities to submit your films. We wish all of you the best of luck and humbly thank you for being a part of the Chagrin Documentary Film Festival. The best of the best winning film was selected from over 600 submitted films, 98 selected, and represents this year's best of the best. This year's winning film embodies the triumph of the human spirit and the determination to overcome the odds. Riveting from start to finish, I had a sense this film would be the winner. On behalf of the Panza family, Maria and I are proud to announce the award for the best of the festival. A $3,000 cash prize and a contract with Gravitas Ventures. And the winner of the Fest of the Fest is... The Last Out, directed by Sammy Kahn and Michael Gassert. I was here in San Jose, Costa Rica para que ella tuviera un, un poco más de, de calma, de, de tranquilidad. Y aquí estoy, preparándome, sacrificándome, luchando para lograr el sueño de todo pelotero cubano, que es llegar a la Grandes Ligas. Llegaría a ser un, un gran millonario, no, no, no me quitaría lo sencillo y lo, y lo grave que tengo en mi corazón y en mi mente. Bueno, la felicidad de mi vida sería llegar a Grandes Ligas y estar con mi familia reunido una vez más. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Gassert. I'm the co-director and producer of The Last Out. It's impossible to put into words what it means for us to win the David Ponce Best of Fest Award. 
This film began over seven years ago, and the road has been long and winding. And like everyone, we've faced particular challenges over the last year and a half during the pandemic. Filmmaking is a privilege, but it's also really hard, and you need an incredible team behind you in order to realize your vision. But we do this to give voice to untold stories which challenge the way we think about ourselves and our place in the world. So we're incredibly thrilled to team up with Gravitas Ventures and bring the last out to the public. There's so many people to thank. Everybody at Chagrin Festival, the jury, the general public for supporting our film. But to all the filmmakers out there, keep making your films. We need to hear your voice. And take care of yourself and each other. Thanks. Thank you, and congratulations to all of our winners. But the night is still young, so whether you're out there watching Chagrin Dogs on Demand, or maybe you're at one of our live venues, enjoy the rest of the evening with some great films. And also tomorrow, please join us at Chagrin Falls Intermediate School for the film Full Out Inside Ohio Show Choir, where we will all be singing. We start out dancing, we're gonna be yep, singing we'll tomorrow sing night, right along with a great local show choir from right here in Northeast Ohio. We certainly hope to see everybody back here tomorrow for another day of film and fun. Have a great evening. Good night, everyone, and thank you for celebrating with us again this year.